These days, much of the attention in terms of bikes falls to the BMX, mountain, and road bike varieties. It's fairly easy to see why, as these types serve a large number of niches and riding styles. But what about the bikes for those who simply want to just bike? This video explained everything you need to know about the best cruising bikes, including their advantages and limitations, who they are ideal for, the different types that now exist, and more. But first, let's define what a cruiser bike really is. What is a cruiser bike, sometimes referred to as a beach cruiser? Cruiser bike combines several key features together in order to create a stable, easy-to-ride bike that is perfect for casual riding at low to moderate speeds. These features most often include a large steel frame with simple styling, wide-set balloon tires, curved handlebars that encourage an upright seating posture, toes to brakes, and single-speed drivetrain for pedaling. There are a few variances depending on the subgenre, but this is the most general definition. Another common trait you will see with cruiser bikes is their ability to be customized and upgraded. This can include accessories like fenders, lights, saddle bags, luggage racks, and more. Cruiser bikes actually have a very extensive history and can be traced back as the inspirations behind mountain bikes and even BMX bikes as well. The roots of the cruiser bikes that we know today formed during the time period shortly after the Great Depression. During this time, Bicycle sales had taken a sharp decline due to the economic climate and became sort of a luxury product. Schwinn took this as an opportunity to market affordable bikes to the youth market. The original American cruiser was the Schwinn B10E, which was designed to look like a motorcycle and even had a motorbike-influenced body complete with faux gas tank. A few years later, the Aerobike was debuted, which contained a more streamlined frame, balloon tires from Europe, and even a battery-powered headlight. Sales jumped for the next decade, and these bikes became much more widespread, especially as other manufacturers designed cruiser bikes that catered to young kids. More adult-oriented versions were widely used for bike couriering and paperboys due to their stability and ability to handle big loads. Evolution and progression within the cruiser bike world has led to the development of five specific types that are now widely available, each with their own differences. Classic slash B. The original cruiser bike. Classic cruisers have all the core features that have been around for decades, and not much more. This means a somewhat heavy frame around 50 pounds, with a unisex design on the top two. 26-inch and 29-inch tires are common, and the tires will be the standard balloon style that is wide enough for added stability, and with enough cushioning to handle small bumps in the road or sidewalk. The saddle sits low and offers wide coverage, and perhaps even some springs for added shock absorption. Stretch. Like the name implies, stretch cruiser bikes are an elongated form of the original style. With stretch cruisers, the frame can often be twice as long, and usually sitting a little lower to the ground as well. The longer frame length allows the rider to sit further back, and be in an even more comfortable position. Although not as precise with the steering, stretch cruiser bikes are great for long, casual rides on flatter roads and sidewalks, where very few obstacles will be in the way. Low rider Low rider cruiser bikes are mostly centered around being more showy than functional. These bikes, as you may have guessed, sit very low to the ground, and allow the rider to sit very low as well, and often recline backwards to, to an extent. Some of the more common features of low riders include white wall tires that are also smaller than 26 inches, overspoked wheels, large banana seats, Springer front forks, and accentuated fenders on the front and back. These cruiser bikes were first popularized on the West Coast as a sort of tribute to low rider cars. Chopper, another cruiser bike inspired by something other than a bike. Chopper cruiser bikes are very reminiscent of chopper-style motorcycles. They incorporate a lot of the same features that low-rider bikes have, and combine them with chopper motorcycle features. This includes long front ends that protrude far out from the handlebars, while the handlebars themselves are mounted higher to resemble the ape hanger design often found with chopper motorcycles. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Keep watching and stay with us subscribing to this channel. Have a great day!